is Saturday, July 23rd. Welcome back to the vlog. I have two things to talk about today. The first, very quickly, I have to say, I love my tribe. I love my tribe. Oh my gosh. I love my community, my little geeky community, my Twitter peeps. I just, I just love them all so much. Uh, earlier today, uh, things here in the Snark House have been... Not so great. Let's just put it that way. So, earlier today I put up on Twitter, I was like, I am agitated and I need a hug. And immediately, immediately, lots of Twitter hugs just started pouring in. And I, I just feel so loved now. And so I had to put that out there because I, I, thank you, tribe, for loving me so much. I love you too. And I am really glad to be a part of you. And I'm glad that I have all these friends out there. And nothing really makes you feel better when you're agitated, like saying, I need a hug, and having dozens of people leap to hug you however virtually, to make sure that you, you start to feel better. And so I really appreciate that. And obviously it worked, because hello, I'm no longer agitated. Uh, so yay, tribe, geek, community, Twitter-ness. Thank you, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the second thing that I want to talk about is... I just did three. The second thing that I want to talk about is Harry Potter. Because I've been meaning to talk about Harry Potter for a couple of days, and I keep putting it off because other things have come up. Saw the seventh movie, went to the early bird showing on Thursday with my mom because we've seen all the movies together as she is the person who got me turned on to the books. Liked the movie quite a lot. I kind of think I need to see it again before I really like review it seriously. But I had a good time. I The thing that's hard for a lot of people, I think, is that the movies kind of follow their own storyline now because so much has had to be left out from the books over the course of time because as the books get more complex and more gets included in them it's harder to fit all of that into a couple of hours so sure some things were missing but they were missing for a reason because if you watch just the movies they follow their own continuity they're they they're good that way but if you expect them to be just like the book it's it, it's kind of disappointing because a lot gets left out. You can only fit so much into two hours. I mean, imagine. Imagine if we had to sit through two parts of, like, two movies for every book since book two, really. No, that would never work. So, I like the movies as they are. I think they stand alone well. I love the books. I didn't think that I would like the books. My mom brought the books home from the library when I was home on break in 1999. God, I'm old and said, here, read these, you'll like them. And of course I rebelled, because what do mothers know, really? But finally, just kind of out of boredom and curiosity, I picked up the first book, and I fell in love with the first book almost immediately. It, it's all, it's everything that's great about books, because there's stuff in there for really young kids, and there's stuff in there for really old kids, and there's stuff in there for people who would never call themselves kids. It's, they're kind of like the Muppets that way, like you love them when you're 10 for one reason, but you love them when you're 30 for an entirely different reason. And that was really neat for me to discover that in a book. But what I love most about these books was that I got to sell them for six years. I was a bookseller for six years. I worked for Borders. I worked for two Borders stores, one in San Mateo, California, one in Las Vegas, Nevada, obviously. And, uh... One in Roseburg, down in the southern part of Oregon for, well, that was a Walden Books, but it still counts. And I have to say that the experience of selling people Harry Potter and turning them on to the books is going to be my favorite part of the Harry Potter phenomenon. When I think back about this, this huge cultural wave, what I am going to remember most is being able to hand that book to a kid and turn them on to reading. Or to a grown-up who is like, whatever, it's a kid's book, that means it must be dumb. And then have them come back loving these books. There was no more gratifying book to sell as a bookseller than Harry Potter. At least for me. Because it's so culturally acceptable, I guess. I don't know. But it, selling those books was the most fun that I had while working for that company. I loved working Harry Potter night. I, I worked the release night for books four, five, and six. And those three nights are three of my the best nights of my whole life because they were so much fun. So, Harry Potter, thank you for everything that you have given to us. I will miss you. Um, nothing's really going to live up to you, I don't think. I don't think there's something ever... You know, it's like, how do you top the Beatles after the Beatles have broken up? How do you top Harry Potter? You just really can't. And as I'm looking at my timer, it says 4.40-ish right now, so I'm going to stop talking. But but yay, Harry Potter! Go see the movie if you get the chance. Um, if you want to wait till it's a video, that's fine too. But go see the movie. Read the books. Seriously. Trust me. If you trust me about nothing else, read the books. Because they're so fantastic. And that's it. This is almost at five minutes and I don't want to be punished. So I will see you all later. Thank you for, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye!